Hi there. Uh, welcome to my crazy, messy domain. My name is Ta, Ta Bui, and I'm making this video as part one of uh, two or perhaps three videos in order to promote the concept in uh, renewable energy, solar renewable energy that I've been researching on uh, for the past few years as an amateur. Um, I've been working, uh, focusing on a concept of focusing sunlight using a uh, a, a, a mathematical curve called a catenary curve. A catenary curve is a curve that's taken on by the shape of a free hanging chain. Um, if you take a flexible chain, uh, you hold up the two ends like this, the curve on the inside, shown here, is, uh, is what they call a catenary curve. And it is a curve that has an interesting history, mathematical history. Uh, in the past, a lot of people were confused with confuse a catenary curve with uh, the uh, parabolic curve. Uh, use my makeshift drawing board here. Okay. The parabolic curve, y is equal to x squared. They were known that in high school for a long time, uh, I think. Uh, it's called a parabola, parabolic curve. It's used a lot in uh, solar uh, applications because of the ability to concentrate instant light into a single point and raising the temperature or the energy density of that point. Uh, essentially creating a, a better kernel cycle efficiency, kernel efficiency. So that's uh, the y equal to x squared. Now the free hanging chain is actually not y equal to x squared. It's equal to y is equal to the hyperbolic cosine of x. The hyperbolic cosine of x. So they're slightly different. Uh, but they do look alike and they confuse a lot of people. Uh, so my approach is that uh, this uh, research is to find out uh, if you have a curve like that, uh, oh, uh, the uh, the catenary curve like that it, it confuses people. So I wonder if, if there's any region in it that is similar enough to a parabola that you can use as a concentrator. Okay. And uh, I'm sure that the idea isn't uh, isn't new. Uh, it's it's so logical that I'm sure some of you find have thought of it in the past. Uh, but uh, as I often tell 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 people that. Uh, uh, without mathematics, physics is just a story. Uh, so I went out and uh, created this mathematical model uh, and tried to compare that model against the, uh, the, the, the parabola, the y is the x squared curve, and try to find a region that, that, that fits. And uh, indeed, there is a region that fits. And that's a curve with an aspect ratio of 1 to 4. You have a, uh, the catenary curve of a height a and a width 4a okay then the uh, the calculation shows that instant beam would behave very much similar to a parabola it would focus in one single point and that point is conveniently located at the rim in the center of that curve so if you take a sheet of material, a sheet, a sheet of paper, uh, a sheet of flexible material, uh, reflective material, you hold up the edges like this, it will take on that catenary curve and now you have uh, something very close to a parabolic trough, a very common device used in uh, solar thermal uh, energy focus. And you can tilt it up to some degree, okay, and it's still able to focus. So I built this model here using a reflector made out of mylar with an alumin aluminized side. I uh, cut it to slack to keep it flexible and tape the back up with some uh, scotch tape and uh, some wooden sticks on the edges here. And I built this very fancy high-tech uh, Lego structure <laughs> to show that you can indeed have that 1 to 4 ratio uh, and have a slight angle to it and rotate to track the sun. Now, um, there are several ways to capture that in high energy density in the center. You can either have a pipe that running a, uh, a fluid uh, to uh, boil steam and tur turn the steam turbine, or uh, my favorite uh, approach would be probably a, a photovoltaic panel like this that's represented by a solar cell here, held upside down. So you know, the cost of these things are very expensive. So now we can collect a large area and focus on the same uh, same panel, and essentially uh, get the maximum uh, wattage for the dollar that you spent on uh, on your uh, photovoltaic cell. Uh, you can also coat the material to make sure that uh, you don't send extra 
uh, wavelength that is the cell is not res uh, isn't uh, convert very easily. You know things like that. There are little engineering details like that. I've uh, built a demonstrator using a, a large sheet of, sheet of stainless steel uh, and uh, cook an egg with it in my website. So uh, if you get a chance, stop by the website and take a look. Uh, but uh, the whole concept is is really neat to me because if you consider it a parabola uh, as a shape in nature, it doesn't ex uh, it doesn't exist very easily. So in order to keep a parabola, you have to build a lot of structure underneath it to support the shape. Uh, catenary curve, on the other hand, is self-forming. So if wind blows, okay, it returns its shape. Uh, bird hits it, it returns its shape. Like okay, I said, so uh, you can build a very light structure inexpensively, and it still works very well. In fact, I uh, my next project probably will involve this. Uh, Aluminized mylar. I just bought a nice big roll from uh, eBay. Uh, pretty big, uh, pretty tall, as tall as I am. Uh, admittedly, I'm not very tall, but you get the idea. It's it's big. It's uh, around two meters or so, and stretch out probably another sixty meters or so for seventeen dollars plus shipping, uh, eBay shipping, probably four hundred bucks. Uh, at any rate. Uh, uh, the idea is to to uh, to to take these inexpensive structure and inexpensive reflecting material, and use that to focus a lot of area of light. You know, you have about a thousand watts per square meters of uh, of sunlight falling on you. And you focus that into a small panel, so that you can reduce the cost of photovoltaic cost. Okay, um, that is the basic of the uh, the catenary curve. The section of it is similar to a parabola, and you. It's self-forming, so you don't have to build a lot of spend a lot of money building structure uh, to use it. So the cost of uh, of it is very inexpensive, pennies per square foot versus say fifty dollars a square foot for a solar panel, photovoltaic panel. Okay. Uh, please take the idea and uh, do some good with it. I hope it inspires you to go out and do uh, create some project. If you have a panel, uh, build a reflector and see how much more energy you can get out of your solar panel. Uh, if you like solar uh, cooking, build a solar cooker and boil some water and uh, uh, you know bake a cake or something like that. Okay. Um, the ideas are there for is open source. It's free. Um, if you do use it somewhere in publication, uh, it would be nice to credit me for it. Uh, but it was meant really for you to uh, build something that could benefit mankind and benefit yourself. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please go see the the, the the second video, which is to me a very exciting part. This asymmetric model, a self-tracking, self-forming concept. It's really cool, I thought. Um, so go see that video too, okay? Um, thank you. Thank you for watching the video, and uh, take care. <laughs>